Yo right there guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Ultima RTG. It's coming. Future Star promo this Friday and what were we speaking about yesterday? This exact concept. Taking a player with massive potential in real life, releasing them onto the game with a standard boost. Now I'm not talking dropping a Delict 92 rated on Friday. I want to see something better than his, well, based version or whatever is available right now. I believe he's got an 83 in form. So why not drop Drop him as an 86 tradable card that you can go and purchase off the market and then later on you're gonna have to unlock challenges and the reason why I feel like EA are gonna run this promo exactly the way I'm explaining is because of the objective cards that have also been released so you've got this card design and then you've got an objective card design so similar to foot swaps where you have to go and play daily objectives weekly objectives squad battles all, the, all that good stuff to go and earn those cards and then when they drop an upgradable SPC you not only include the delict version that you've got as well as those objective cards i think this is a massive promo and when i put that out on twitter the concept and my ideas someone said that they feel like it would be better if you could just take a future star player play x amount of games so pretty much hitting milestones so the amount of clean sheets that you keep the amount of goals the assists I like that idea, but that should be released as its own concept. I don't think that they would ever allow you to just take any player, any base non-inform and be able to upgrade that card with the amount of games that you put in. Although it'd be amazing, and I'm definitely down for that, it would take away from informs, team of the season, team of the year. It would just take away from those promos unless they were to offer that as a specific bunch of players. You know how they do the one to watches based on in real life performances? Well, they should have like one to watches based on in game performances. There's always room for like these promos and we're heading in the right direction. I am super hyped for future stars. I think with what they've got in mind, it is going to be better than Team of the Year. It's going to be a lot more engaging than any promo that we've had on the game. And that's why EA have been hyping this up. They've changed their header. They've changed the picture on their EA Sports account. They know this is big. And I have just seen Foden, that would be amazing. Uh, Junior, Vinicius Junior, at the start of the game, he actually was pretty overpowered. So if we could get him on the RTG and upgrade the guy to his max potential, which would obviously be 92, which they're showing. Then you have Delict is going to get chemistry to Dumfries as well as Van Dyke. What are we going to do on the road to glory? How hyped are you? Come on. You must admit that this promo is good. And there are always people like tr trying to downplay it. Like, yeah, it would be nice if I could upgrade play in the game instead of having to do these daily objectives. Come on, man. It's different. It doesn't cost you anything or maybe a few fever points if you're wanting to open packs. But I think that's how they're going to run it. On Friday, you'll see a standard boost on these future stars being put into packs. You can go on the market and purchase them. And then from there, you're in control of their boost. I am hyped and I cannot wait. So last time Suarez was in the team of the week, we pulled his weekly card. I don't want Suarez. I wouldn't say no, but I don't really want him. Can I have De Gea or Fabinho? And trust me, I posted out on Twitter a few days ago, what are the chances of Fabinho getting in the team of the week? Because I was thinking I could get chemistry alongside uh, Van Dijk, cap it off with Allison and goal, and I wouldn't have to worry about like getting Marcelo into the starting 11. God's sake, he was released as a centre-back, even though that loads of people were saying 0.1% chance that he's going to get one. So I don't think I had to sell Marcelo for that reason. But what's done is done. We will purchase Marcelo back at a later date. That's exactly what I said. But how do you feel about two center backs with medium, medium work rates? Is it game changing? Is it ideal? Is it playable? Because I think last time I had two defenders with medium, medium, and I don't think I did that well in the weekend league, but that could have been down to my performance as well. So if you've used it in the past, let me know in the comment section, but let's get straight into our Div Rival Rewards. I feel like we finished in rank three, and if that is the case, no, we didn't. We finished in round two. Okay. Uh, I'll take the 58,000 coins. Uh, well, the mega pack, six untradeable. Is that really worth it right now? Mm, no, because this promo, it could mean that if they do release the future stars into packs, they're going to be available, obviously, on the market. And that's when we need to go and purchase them. And I need coins for it. So we're already back up to 129,000 coins, which is going to be awesome for this promo, as well as... Elite 3. For a second, I thought it was Gold 1. Elite 3. Awesome. So give me those 70,000 and the 3 player picks. 
Who do we want? The hair. No, you know what? I would love a bronze contract. And that's exactly what I've received. Dear, oh dear. Please give me the hair or Fabinho today. One out of the five. I would love the hair because then I don't have to worry about a keeper. And I, I feel like I can get him into the starting 11 on full chemistry. It shouldn't mess up the lick too much. Here we go. Let's have that problem anyway. Let's pack the hair. Where are you, the hair? Oh my, hey, that's not bad at all. 286s. Juan Fran, remember his flashback card in the right back position, four star skills. I didn't even know he had four star skills. Um, yeah, not as good as the flashback, so I don't think I'm going to go for him. We have Pepe, 86 overall, and I'll tell you this. Yes, the first in form, second in form, terrible. This is the third in form now. Good enough stamina, I'd say. Uh, it's okay. It's actually exactly the same as Griezmann. So I'd have to play him as a middle cam. His curve is fantastic. The vision is fine. The short pass mm, isn't so great. Finishing, agility. He looks like a pretty decent impact sub. I'm going to take him over Rufia, the goalkeeper, anyway. So 86. Well played, Pepe. Welcome to the club. But we won that 87 Fabinho. Is he 87? I think so. Let's find out. God damn. Where is he? Well, do you know what? I think I'm going to take Juan Fran just because he could be playable, even that version. Juan Fran, welcome. I had the option to go for that 84 rated striker, but I'm never going to use him. Last chance to get my hands on De Gea or Fabinho. Come on, let it happen. God damn. It was never going to happen. All right, what is this guy saying? Four star. Oh my God. Four star, four star, six foot three, 88 strength. Whoa. And 89 finishing. Damn, he looks good. His long shots are pretty bad, but I'm going to take him. Nice. So I didn't save any packs for team of the year. I'm not going to be saving one 100K for the future stars promo. It's not happening. So let's pop it open. 100K pack. Walk out. It won't even be a walkout. Oh, it is. It is a walkout icon. Nah. That is the last thing that we need to do on this account. Oh, dear. Um, pack in an icon. 86 rated Otamendi, though. We'll take that. Otamendi, 86. He'll probably be going for around about 20,000 coins. Maybe not that. Whoa. 38. Oh, no, no. Sorry. 285s and 86. Yeah, about 20,000. 18k, sweet. That's going to be helpful. Mares, I was thinking about bringing on the, uh, off the bench as, well, just to start off with straight away after the first minute, playing as a right attacking mid. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Uh, Falcao, is he selling for a little bit? 10,000 coins. That isn't bad at all. There could be someone hiding. Oh, no, because I cleared out the club, didn't I? All of these players... I don't have? Wow. Okay. Well, Otamendi, Mares, Falcao, Arcel, the rest of them get into the club. As we've just received a walkout, I doubt we're going to have another one from our premium Team of the Week pack. Let's find out. Give me that walkout. Give me De Gea. Spanish, go on, De Gea. Please. Oh, Fabinho, Brazilian. Uh, what? Oh, that guy. We just got him. What is that flag? 84 rated. I don't know if he's selling for anything. Like his stats, in-game stats, as long uh, along with the height and also the four-star, four-star is tasty. But no one wants him. 18,000. I might have to get rid of him for that. And these guys here are just discard. So I did say that after the weekend league rewards, I would go and sell like most of the cards and then use those coins to go and purchase a new cam and a new right attack in mid. Knowing we've got this future star promo being released on Friday, I'm hesitant. I don't want to purchase anyone to then have to sell them, lose money on tax. It's pointless. So I'm holding off a little bit. I've gone and sold like these players though. We've got 18,750 for Otamendi, Morris 4,750. So we're back up to 270,000 coins, which is a very nice amount to go and purchase a Delict. Like if Delict gets released as a 92 overall card, I think that his price, considering that he's from the Eredivisie, 
220, 200, I think he's going to be about 250,000 if he was a 92 rated center back. Because you've got to keep in mind, how are you going to get him into the starting 11 on full chemistry? So this was an idea that I had just using Robertson to get the chemistry link to Van Dyke and then getting my hands on Delict to start off with and potentially unlocking Dumfries. And his name is Denzel Dumfries. What a name. Six foot two, a high attacking work rate. And the one thing that I like about this guy, height, strength, pace, jumping, he's offering it all. An 86 stand tackle. Okay, his interceptions and marking, that's not so good. But to get him into the team and that strong link into Delict, who would I go for in goal? I don't think I'm going to be wasting 700,000 coins on, um, what are we saying? Van der Sar? That ain't happening. So who do I use in goal? This is the problem when you try and build hybrids. And keep in mind, I haven't even got Mbappe into the team yet. I haven't got Hazard, Kante, well, Makaleli. Oh, actually, Makaleli. Ah, oh, Makaleli. Hang on a minute. Yo, I've just come up with an idea. Ignore Makaleli being a striker, right? Because he's in the other team. I could stick Makaleli there, and then in goal, we could just go for regular Allison. I don't know if I... Should I go and get Dumfries? Let's see what this promo is about. And if the leak does come out as a very, very nice card, and we're looking to use him, then I will possibly go and unlock Dumfries for 170,000. Packs back, could get him for like 130. The only concern of mine, and I asked you this at the start of the video, medium medium work rates for Van Dyke, and then you've got medium medium work rates for Delict. But if this card does get a massive boost, already he has the jump in, the mark in, the stand tackle. His acceleration for me needs to go up a little bit more. Minimum like 70, you know, 72, because uh, I was able to perform with Scrinia. So if it's around about the same, I shouldn't have any problems. So what I want to do is go and test out this Pepe card. Six foot, high attacking work rates, on the right hand side being left footed. And who shares the same skill moves and weak foot? Griezmann. Now, I'm not going to say he's anywhere near Griezmann's level, but the finishing has been upped, the shot power is good, and the long shots, that reminds me of Griezmann. As well as the agility being very, very nice, so he's going to feel pretty light on the ball. Acceleration is great. This is a pretty good upgrade, and I hope that he performs. Then I don't have to go on the market and spend on any right attacking mid. But I very much doubt going into the weekend league, I'm going to be using Felipe Anderson. That's why I want to go and pick up one of these future stars and get chemistry let's hope that someone gets released that can just fit into this starting 11 otherwise screeny is going to be replaced valsalka is going to be replaced and i'm going to be working on a bit of chem down the right hand side but i really do appreciate a lot of you going on twitter helping me with building teams giving me some ideas that is what continues to drive this series and make it exciting for not only you guys but myself as well thank you for that we're going to jump into some division rivals now pepe turn up actually chem style for pepe what should i put on him i'm gonna try and up his finishing you know what would be nice because he's already got the acceleration the maestro chem style to just give him a well-rounded balance help out the shooting the long shots yes the passing as well the reaction stats i think that isn't a bad idea well we can always test him out right notorious zbm has pepe got what it takes to destroy him. I can see Felipe Anderson wanting to make a run. Valsalco. We haven't even got Pepe on the pitch yet. We got this man though. Mbappe. Oh, I thought that went in. We both made those instant subs. Mbappe. He's just too quick to... <laughs> I'm wriggling. Oh, Fabinho. Thank you very much for your service. Oh, Christ. No. Bale. Oh, I need to cross more. Well, 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 well. Van Dijk in the air. That's his is it third goal, or fourth goal for the club. Where's Van Dijk? No way. Is this guy a pro with these headers? Another one. I can't defend them. This Ebra front pros versus Van Dijk. I should have had that. I should have gone in front of him. We're dribbling. Philippe Anderson. That's it. Keep a movement. 
It either helps you or destroys you. God damn. That's it. Hazard. Damn you. Not the post again. I, I think I've hit the post twice in this game. 3-2 at the break to my opponent. And it's been a pretty good game. I've scored a corner. He scored a corner. Loads of headed goals. What I'm lacking in my team is a Neymar. I need to work towards Neymar and bring him in to the middle cam position. Oh, that ball though. Come on. Come on, Pepe. Get that ball across. Hey, go on, Pepe. That was his, with his weak foot as well. What a ball in. Good, Mbappe. Hazard. <gasps> no. What is that? No. Allison needs to go. How can he concede all of these goals? What is that shot, man? It's like taking a bend. Oh, he saved it in the back of his net. That's why. It was a game where I conceded weird goals, I must admit. And it's a shame that Allison he couldn't just properly save that. He pushed it into his own net. Allison needs to go. And I need to make some team changes, man. I feel like I'm going to change the team, you know. Allison in goal, he's okay. But a mistake like that to actually cost me the game because it finished 4-3 that's not acceptable like if he's doing that in the weekend league and i'm losing matches i can't have it so with like screenia valsalco is it worth put it this way is it worth me using valsalco to bring in a screenia who isn't terrible but he's not at that level that you really want from a weekend league player and then having to force me to sub out brozovic straight away for Valsalco. Now, don't get me wrong, if he was playing to a team of the year standard, then I wouldn't mind so much, but he's not. Like, he's good, but he's not that good to sacrifice my center back position and like someone to be brought off the bench. So I think I'm gonna drop Valsalco to be fair. Makaleli, when I first used him, he was unreal. And because I've got used to Marcelo and his pace and just the way he was playing for me as like an attacking CDM, I can't get anything out of Makaleli. I don't think he's been making tackles for me. He's just been running around the pitch, similar to a screen for Laney. Like, I could not do anything with Laney. He was just fast. And with Makaleli, I'm feeling that as well from the card, which is slightly annoying. So I'm going to have to rethink this team for uh, tomorrow. I might, what to do, I might, like, sell some of these players on. Um, well, actually, the only player that I can sell is Makaleli. Shall I bring in... Should I bring in Neymar? Maybe Neymar is the one that I need to go for. Then that will get me the chem to Mbappe. It won't get me the chem to Hazard though. So I would have to uh, fix that up. But boys, um, that's where I'm going to end it. How did Pepe play in that game? Well, he got an assist, to be fair. Uh, he felt really good on the ball. His acceleration, I noticed, to be upped. His passing wasn't so bad, but I just don't think that he is good enough. He went missing in the game. Only once or twice he popped up. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't think he's good enough. But as an impact sub, maybe just to inject that pace, he could be a good pickup if he's like 20,000, 25,000 coins. But thank you for watching. Leave a like, and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.